Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's time for moose hunting. We got the jet raft behind us. You can see this is an Alaskan jet ranger. You've, if you haven't seen me use it, oh, go back on videos. You'll see a moose hunt I used this on and I shot a pretty nice bull on. Anyways, so uh, we got the Alaska jet ranger. We're running a 25 horse Johnson two stroke motor. It keeps it lightweight so that I can actually lift it when I need to lift it. We're packing up, we're getting going. We gotta head up there. It's uh, season starts tomorrow, but we wanna get up there. I have put, I put a camp up the river two days ago. So uh, I didn't film that, but we ran up river and put a camp up there just so we could get rid of some of the gear because we had to make multiple trips. So it's time to get up there, get ourselves situated, and get ready to moose hunt tomorrow. Want me to get in? you hunt in Alaska you come back on a river you wouldn't have everybody up here but guess what it there's is a, there's a camp literally just right down the river from us well here's home for a little bit hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get a moose and we'll see what happens it's not too shabby of a place to be <laughs> no nope, pretty nice pretty I brought this nice. camp in a couple days ago and uh set it up just so we could get you know we didn't have to haul it in today and then uh yeah it's nice to be able to just roll in and have the camp set up yes it is not a bad view not too bad love it
grass. Weren't able to cut this tree out. So we're gonna cut it out and then hopefully be able to scoot on through. If you saw our last video, we came up this river scouting and this is the one that stopped us because the chain was so dull. So I put a new chain on the chainsaw and so we made it back to that spot. Hey, look at that. Is that, oh, that's a stick. Beaver. Oh, beaver. Beaver too. Amazing what a sharp chain does. <laughs> yeah. So easy. I will let it go over there. Let the water do what it does. Yeah. Yeah, Turn, perfect. Turning it just like that. Just yeah, like opening the door. <laughs> right on. Good job. That's a big, big, that's a big log for that little saw. Yeah, and it's way underwater. Man, I am so close to being through it. I just don't understand why it won't break. Sometimes you just gotta get out and walk the boat. Got a little too thin in here. And we bottomed out, so. Now we're just walking it that back down to where it's deep. This is an area that we call the rock garden. It's always a challenge to get through, but on low water, we knew we were like, well, let's try it. But we knew we weren't going to be able to get through it. You could probably drag a boat through here, but then getting a moose back down over it, forget it. That would be no fun. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to day one. Moose season has officially started. Uh, we're just having breakfast here real quick. We're having some mountain house granola, just easy, quick. But uh, we had the alarm set this morning for five o'clock and uh, <laughs> realized real quick that it was pitch blackout still. So it's six o'clock in the morning and it's perfect light out. We wanna uh, get fed here and get our teeth brushed, get up that river. We're gonna head up river a little bit today and uh, find a gravel bar. We're gonna sit on the gravel bar for a while, just do some calling. And then we'll probably move a little bit, do a little more calling. Right now we just wanna put some calls out up the river and start drawing some animals in or, or anything that's close by, try to see if something can answer us.
There's beef. the grass. Yeah. You can see where Tuma is bedded down. And there's a little pond right there. If you just go through the willows, there's a little pond right there. I said it, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Moose hunting's 90% boredom, 10% excitement. Not true. Just, we're, we're just sitting here calling and uh, just raking, calling, waiting. Listening. Very peaceful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Totally ruin your life. <laughs> guys well we just paddled our way down the river and just made it back to camp so we didn't see any moose and uh i don't know we saw but lots of beavers again a lot of beavers but uh there's not a lot of moose sign this year on the river it seems like uh the winters we've had yeah, two, we've had two hard, really rough hard winters, winters and uh winter may, kill may have killed them off. biologists told us that the uh, the winter kill on the moose was pretty bad so i guess they were right but anyways We'll keep plugging at it and see what we can see. We'll back at camp, we'll relax for a bit and then go back out this evening and uh, start doing some calling and just sitting Try around and again. watching. Yep. Keep going. All right, guys, we're back at a spot. We're going to sit for our evening hunt. It's about five o'clock in the evening. We'll sit here until almost dark. We don't want to quite go down the river in dark, but we'll be almost dark. Yeah. We'll just do some calling and uh, see what happens. It's early in the season. Wish us luck. Yep. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh. 
about it's not cold today. I still don't want to get hit. Why not? Do you like to get hit? No, but I like I like to give you a pat. I shot about two years ago, and uh, this is a one of the, a shoulder blade of a moose makes the best raking. Yeah. It sounds so real because it is bone. Sometimes we gotta walk the boat through places where we can't, because it's a little, a little sketchy to drive through. There's still a log underneath that, so it's easier for him just to walk it through. <laughs> I made it. Ooh, a little slippery. 
Back to paddling. officially over no moose yeah day one's over it was uh interesting to say the least river oh, yeah. the river water's pretty low it rained last night so we got a little bit of extra water uh today but that water's probably going to drain off tomorrow because this river is basically just fed by runoff uh, from rainwater, rainwater and whatever groundwater there is so it fluctuates really bad especially this time of year when it's cooling off everything it gets low really fast and there's literally four other groups of hunters on the river. There's literally people. So, there's people everywhere. Yeah, there's uh, one camp that's, I mean, they're camped right next to us. And then another jet boat down from them. And then a group of guys ran up from us while we were hunting. A jet boat came blowing by. Yeah. It's like. We're you, calling out there and we can hear them calling. It was like. You would think that. What the. Back, you know, you think you're out back in Bush, Alaska. And guess what? So are you're, other you're, people. <laughs> nah, you're never alone. Unless you're spending thousands of dollars to fly in, you're never alone. Well, it's not always like this year. This no. year's especially. This year seems it to fluctuates. Be bad. It fluctuates. But anyways, I think we're about ready to turn in from a day of hunting and You're gonna turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into my sleeping bag. Yeah. Alright guys, well we'll see you in the morning. We're gonna get up early. I think we'll probably get up around five thirty in the morning. Head up and, there. Uh, we're going to beat feet up the river and do some more calling. And hey, this is moose hunting. Check out that sunset. Well, here we are in the tent. It's, uh, I think, about 8 o'clock now, but we're kind of bored, so we're playing Go Fish. Go Fish. We don't have a table, so. We're just playing a game that can be easily passed back and forth. <laughs> so far, we're dead evens. May the best girl win. I mean, <laughs> person, person. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, good morning. You all Vaughn, you awake? Yeah, barely. Good morning. <laughs> it's early. All right, it's morning of day two, and it is dark. We decided to get up earlier. Oof. And, uh... I guess it's a little too early, so it's okay because by the time we get ready to go, we're having some, I'm having some, can you read that there? Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> having some biscuits and gravy, the peak refuel, and Vaughn's having some mountain house biscuits and gravy, so we're doing a little bit of breakfast, and then we're going to clean things up around here a bit, and then we'll be going up the river, doing some calling and seeing what we get.
Well, we're hiking back out to the boat. No moose this morning. I think we're gonna call it. We're gonna do some floating. See what, see if we can see something on the river. Getting a free ride. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on to me. Oh, geez, the current's got me. Sweet. All right, guys, we're packing up, but we're not done yet. Yep. All right. So, uh, we hunted for uh, two, the first two days of the season and we're not seeing a lot of sign. There's a ton of people up here. And so we've opted, we've got so much stuff we got to get done. So we've, we're gonna head home. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff done. We got to get that woodshed filled up. And then we're gonna come back towards the end of the season, which if you guys don't know about hunting moose, uh, basically the rut, the closer you can get to the end of September, it seems that the bulls are more responsive to cow calls and all that. So we're gonna come back more towards the end of the season and we're gonna continue hunting. Yeah, like most men, they come a running for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I hit him. Nice shot. Ooh, nice. There oh, we go. Got some dinner. Dinner. That makes four. Four. Four grass. Yummy. Four. Four. Yummy. I'm only going to get one of them, I think. This moose trip has turned into a grouse. Grouse hunt. Got him. You see the other one? No. I better, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There's a bunch of them. Good thing you brought the 22. Two, three. 
three, four, five, and six. That's it for us moose season this year. We uh, we didn't have a lack of trying. We went up the river and we did some trail riding and uh, just no moose for us this year. All right guys, well, yep, we've run out of time. So, hey, it is what it is. But man, you got to look at this beautiful scenery behind us. Yeah, we had a good time grouse hunting today though. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this last hunt turned into a grouse hunt. You guys saw here, we got uh, six grouse and those are going to be some good eating for tonight's dinner. Yeah. And some of them will go in our freezer, so. Yeah. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching our videos as always. I always say we really appreciate our subscribers and you yes, guys taking the time to watch us. So give us a thumbs up if you like it, and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one. I did a lot of bad things. Never did I give in. Just because the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. Till you entered